Okay, so get ready for a deep dive into AI and math. Oh, this should be good. You sent us some research on how even relatively small AI models can handle some pretty complex math problems. Yeah. It's all at something called uh, deep thinking. Okay. Specifically, a method called R star math developed by researchers at Microsoft. That's right. So what makes R star math so interesting? Well, it really focuses on the process, not just the results. Okay. It's like diving into the how of problem solving, you right. know, making AI like a much more effective mathematical thinker. And it suggests we don't necessarily need those massive resource heavy AI models mm. to get impressive results. Exactly. Even smaller models can become math whizzes. If we teach them to think more deeply. Right. If we can teach them to think more deeply. So let's unpack this idea of deep thinking in AI and math. Okay. What makes training AI for math so challenging in the first place? Well, one major hurdle is the scarcity of high quality training data. Okay. It's like trying to teach someone to cook with only a handful of recipes. But and even with the most powerful AI, there's always a risk of errors. Mm -hmm. And it can be really hard to understand where those errors even originate. I see. It's like trying to debug a complex program. Yeah. You know, there's a glitch somewhere, but finding it can be like searching for a needle in a haystack. Exactly like that. So our star math tackles this challenge by drawing inspiration from the way humans think. Mm -hmm. It incorporates those concepts like system one and system two thinking. Right. Psychologists use these terms to describe different modes of cognitive processing. Yeah. So tell me more about these systems. Okay, How so do they apply to AI and math? Well, think of system one as your quick, intuitive thinking. Okay. It's fast and automatic, but not always accurate. Right. It's relying on your gut feeling. Okay. System two, on the other hand, that's that slower, more deliberate thought process. Okay. It's what we engage in when we carefully work through a math problem step by step, you know. Right. right. Justifying each move. So is our star math aiming to train AI to think more like system two? Exactly. It's encouraging that AI to think more deeply, more strategically, and to develop a more robust understanding of those underlying mathematical principles. So how does it do that? Well... What's the secret sauce of our star math? One key ingredient is a method called Monte Carlo Tree Search. Or MCTS for short. MCTS, got it. So imagine the AI exploring this vast maze of possible solution paths, right. carefully testing each step along the way. Right. That's essentially what MCTS does. Yeah. It allows the AI to, you know, evaluate different strategies, learn from its successes and failures, right. and gradually refine its approach. So the AI is playing a game against the math problem. Yeah. Trying different moves and learning from the outcomes. That's a great analogy. And yeah. to make this game even more effective, mm -hmm. Star Math introduces this really clever code augmented approach. Code augmented? Yes. Does that mean the AI is writing code to solve the math problems? It is. Wow. But it's not just writing code. Okay. It's writing out the solution steps in words, just like a human would, uh -huh. and then generating that equivalent Python code for those steps. Okay. And the brilliant part is that if the code doesn't run successfully, uh. The AI knows it's hit a dead end. So it's double checking its work in real time. Yeah. Using code execution as a feedback mechanism. Exactly. That's fascinating. It is pretty cool. But how does it know which solution paths are the best ones to take? Well, that's where the process preference model comes into play. Okay. Or PPM. PPM. Think of it as the AI's inner math tutor. Okay. Instead of simply saying right or wrong. Mm-hmm. The PPM actually scores each step of the solution process, okay. helping the AI learn to favor those most effective strategies. Okay, so let's delve into this PPM a bit further. Sure. How does it actually go about scoring those steps? The PPM leverages something called Q values, okay. which are essentially scores that the AI assigns to each possible move during that MCTS process. Right. And it uses these Q values to create preference pairs for each step. Essentially saying, this step with a high Q value seems promising, mm -hmm. while this one with a low Q value might be leading us astray. So the AI is not just blindly following instructions. Right. It's learning to recognize patterns of success and failure. Exactly. Gradually developing its own sense of what makes a good solution path. You got it. And this learning process happens in stages, right? It does. The researchers describe this four-round self-evolution process. Yes. Where the AI starts with a basic model mm -hmm. and then uses its own generated solutions along with those scores from the PPM right. 
to iteratively improve his performance. Yeah, it's basically bootstrapping its own math skills. It's becoming more sophisticated with each round. Exactly. That's remarkable. It is. So the results of this self-evolution process are pretty impressive. They are really encouraging. Okay, so let's get to those results. Right. How does star math actually perform in practice? Well... Is it proving itself in the math arena? The results are very encouraging. Our star math significantly enhances the performance of those smaller AI models, mm -hmm. even surpassing much larger, more complex models in some instances. Give me some concrete examples. Okay. What kind of benchmarks is it excelling at? For instance, on a challenging benchmark called math. Okay. Star math boosted the accuracy of a 7 billion parameter model okay. from 58.8% to a remarkable 90%. Wow. It even outperformed OpenAI's powerful O1 preview model on this particular benchmark. That's a massive improvement. It is. What about other benchmarks? Uh, did it, it tackle any real-world math challenges? It did. Oh. On the USA Math Olympiad, known as AE, oh, Star Storm successfully solved an average of 8 out of 15 problems. Wow. To put that into perspective, that level of performance puts it among the top 20% of bright high school math students. Oh, wow. Taking this notoriously tough test. So it's not just solving textbook problems. Uh, it's handling complex competition level math. Yeah. That's really impressive. It is. What else did the researchers uncover while working with R Star Math? Yeah. Did they find anything unexpected? They did. Okay. One fascinating observation was the emergence of self-reflection in the AI. Self-reflection? Yes. Are you saying the AI is becoming aware of its own thought processes? In a way, yes. Really? In some cases, the AI exhibited signs of recognizing its own errors. Wow. And then backtracking to find a better approach. Okay. Almost like it was having an aha moment. That's incredible. It is. I never thought I'd see an AI display that kind of metacognitive ability. Right. In a math problem-solving context. Yeah, that's pretty remarkable. And that's not all. No, that's not all. What else? The PPM also revealed something very intriguing. Okay, what was that? Well, the PPM seems to be particularly adept at identifying instances where the AI needs to apply a specific mathematical theorem to solve a problem. Interesting. It's like it's guiding the AI towards those eureka moments when the right tool unlocks the solution. That's amazing. It's like the PPM is serving as a guide. Yeah. Helping the AI navigate the vast landscape of mathematical knowledge. Exactly. And it highlights the importance of not just finding the right answer, mm -hmm. but also understanding the underlying principles and strategies right. that lead to that answer. You got it. So Sertor Math is not just about improving AI's math skills. No. It's about cultivating a more profound way for AI to engage with math. Yeah. To think like a mathematician. You've hit the nail on the head. Wow. It's about shifting the paradigm from mere number crunching okay. to genuine mathematical reasoning. Right. And that's a significant step forward in the field of AI. It makes you wonder where this all leads. Yeah. What's the next frontier for our star math and this idea of deep thinking AI? That's a great question. What are the potential applications of this technology? Oh. What challenges might we encounter along the way? Those are great questions. And perfect lead into our next segment. Right. I need a moment to process all of this. Or right. AI that thinks like a mathematician. It's pretty wild. It's mind blowing. It is. So to really get a sense of this deep thinking AI. Okay. Let's look at some examples of how our star math actually tackles those complex math problems. Yeah, let's dive into that. Okay, so picture a geometry problem okay. where the AI has to determine the missing coordinates of a parallelogram. Oh, geometry. Yeah. I'm already visualizing those shapes. Right, so the AI starts off, you know, methodically, Damn just it. like a human mathematician would. Mm -hmm. It imports those necessary Python libraries, okay. defines the known coordinates. Right. It's laying the groundwork. Establishing that framework for its calculation. Exactly. Okay. Then it attempts to calculate those vector differences okay. to find that missing coordinate. Right. It's essentially, it's calculating the distance and direction between points mm -hmm. to figure out you know, the shape okay. based on the rule that opposite sides of a parallelogram are parallel and equal in length. Right. Sounds like it's on the right track. It was okay, but here's where things get interesting. Okay, the AI initially used a formula mm -hmm. that led it to a coordinate. Okay, that didn't actually satisfy all the given conditions of the problem. Uh oh, yeah, a wrong turn in the mathematical maze. Precisely, but instead of just continuing down that incorrect path, okay, the AI paused. Mm -hmm. And you could say it kind of recognized okay. that its previous steps were leading it astray. 
Hold on, are you telling me the AI caught its own mistake? It did. Wow. The code even includes a comment that says self-correction. That's so cool. Yeah. Okay, so then what happened? At that point, the AI backtracked, oh. chose a different formula mm -hmm. that better fit the problem's constraints, okay. and ultimately arrived at the correct solution. That's remarkable. It is. It's like the AI had this mini eureka moment, right. realizing it needed to adjust its approach. Exactly. And the self-reflection ability mm -hmm. really highlights one of the key advantages of star math. It's not just about reaching the right answer. Right. It's about understanding the process okay. and being able to course correct when necessary. It's like having a built-in error detection system for math problem solving. Yeah. Now, what about those instances where the PPM guided the AI towards using specific theorems? Oh, yeah. Can you give me an example of that? Absolutely. Let's look at a problem involving a number theory concept okay. called Fermat's Little Theorem. Okay, I've heard of that one. Yeah, it's a fairly advanced theorem, right. often used to prove divisibility rules. Okay, so the AI had to prove a statement using Fermat's little theorem. Right. But how did it even know to use that specific theorem in the first place? Well, that's the beauty of the PPM. Okay. It seems to have this knack for recognizing okay. when a particular theorem is applicable. Wow. In this case, the AI started by defining the variables involved, mm -hmm. and then it cleverly substituted those variables into the equation given in the problem. It's like it was strategically manipulating those pieces of the mathematical puzzle. Setting the stage for a brilliant mathematical performance. Exactly. And then it's like announcing its grand strategy. Uh -huh. The AI explicitly states in its solution steps. What does it say? Use Fermat's little theorem. Amazing. Yeah. It's like the AI is saying, I've got the perfect tool for this job. Right. And what's even more fascinating is that as the AI proceeded through those steps of the proof, okay. the PPM assigned those theorem application steps remarkably high scores, okay, indicating that, you know, they were highly relevant and on the right track. So the PPM isn't just a passive observer. No. It's actively rewarding the AI for making those insightful connections. Exactly. Applying the most appropriate mathematical tools. Precisely. And we see similar patterns in problems where the AI used other theorems. Oh, really? Like Vieta's formulas, Bro. which relate the coefficients of a polynomial to the sums and products of its roots. Right. Or the AMGM inequality, which compares the arithmetic mean and geometric mean of a set of numbers. Okay. Even the classic Pythagorean theorem makes a star appearance. It's like the PPM is a walking encyclopedia of mathematical knowledge. Yeah. Guiding the AI towards those most elegant and effective solution paths. That's a great analogy. What's really fascinating is that the PPM is also sensitive to the overall quality of the reasoning process. Interesting. In some cases, even if the AI arrived at the correct answer, mm -hmm. the PPM might penalize it for taking a less efficient or more roundabout way. It's like a strict math teacher saying, yes, you got the answer, but there's a more elegant way to get there. Exactly. The PPM is all about encouraging not just correct answers, right. but also a deep understanding and appreciation for the elegance of math. It's like it's instilling good mathematical taste in the AI yeah. as we're going through these examples. Mm -hmm. It's becoming clear that SAR math isn't just about boosting performance on benchmarks. Right. It's about cultivating a more sophisticated way for AI to think about and engage with mathematics. Absolutely. It's about moving beyond rote memorization and procedure following okay. towards genuine mathematical reasoning and understanding. It's a whole new level of AI cognitive ability. It is. It makes me wonder what other profound insights might be hidden within those lines of code. That's the beauty of research like this. Yeah. It opens up new avenues of exploration and challenges us to rethink what's possible mm. in the realm of AI and human intellect. It's a reminder that the pursuit of knowledge whether through human ingenuity or artificial intelligence, is an endlessly fascinating journey. Couldn't have said it better myself. So we've seen how star math can uh, really empower AI to tackle some complex math problems yeah. with a level of sophistication that we really haven't seen before. That's pretty amazing. But let's shift gears for a second and talk about the bigger picture here. Okay. Where could this technology actually make a real difference in the real world? Oh, the potential applications are vast okay. and incredibly exciting. Like what? Well, imagine personalized AI tutors. That can adapt to each student's individual learning style and pace, right. pinpointing their strengths and weaknesses to provide truly customized instruction. 
That's like having a personal math coach for every student. Exactly. That could really revolutionize education. It could. Especially for subjects that a lot of students find really challenging. Absolutely. And the impact goes way beyond the classroom. Oh, really? Where else? Think about scientific research. Okay. Scientists could collaborate with AI to tackle those complex equations, mm -hmm. explore new frontiers in fields like physics, chemistry, even economics. Wow. AI could become an indispensable tool for discovery. Right. Accelerating our understanding of the world around us. It's like having a research assistant that can not only crunch numbers, right. but help us make sense of those numbers. Exactly. Uncovering those hidden patterns. Yeah. And generating new hypotheses. Precisely. And it's not just about solving existing problems. Okay. It's about pushing the boundaries of math itself. So like... Well, AI could help mathematicians explore those new concepts, okay. discover hidden connections, and maybe even prove theorems that have stumped us for centuries. Wow, that's pretty profound. It is. It's like having a co-explorer in this vast and intricate world of mathematics. I like that. But as with any powerful technology, there are bound to be challenges and uh, considerations. Of course. What are some of the hurdles we might encounter as we explore the full potential of star math? Well, one key challenge is data. Okay. As we've talked about, training these deep thinking models requires massive amounts of high quality math data, right. which isn't always readily available. I see. Especially when we're dealing with advanced mathematical concepts. Okay. That data pool can be pretty limited. It's like trying to train a chef with only a handful of exotic ingredients. Right. It's hard to create a masterpiece with limited resources. Exactly. And even when data is available, ensuring its accuracy and relevance is crucial. Yeah, we don't want to introduce biases or errors that could lead the AI down the wrong path. Exactly. It's like giving a student a textbook with incorrect information. Right. It could undermine their entire understanding. For sure. Another challenge is the interpretability of AI solutions. Yeah, that's a big one. It's great that the AI can solve a problem. Mm -hmm. But can we humans understand its reasoning? Right. Can we learn from its approach? Those are important questions. This transparency is essential if we want to trust the AI's solutions yeah, right. and integrate them into our own problem-solving processes. Absolutely. It's like having a brilliant but enigmatic colleague. Okay. You admire their results, but you wish you could peek inside their mind and understand their methods. Exactly. Transparency and interpretability are crucial for building trust. Yeah and collaboration between humans and AI. For sure. So it's not just about developing the technology. Yeah. It's about developing it responsibly and ethically. Right. Ensuring that we can understand and utilize its full potential for the benefit of humanity. Couldn't agree more. This has been an incredible exploration of star math. It really has. And it's not just about building better math-solving machines. No. It's about expanding our understanding of what's possible. Yeah. In the realm of AI and human intellect. Absolutely. It's a reminder that the pursuit of knowledge, mm -hmm. whether through human ingenuity or artificial intelligence, right. is an endlessly fascinating journey. It really is. And to all our listeners out there, we encourage you to keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep diving deep into the world of knowledge. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the future of AI and math. Share your ideas, your hopes, your concerns. Let's keep this conversation going. And until next time, keep those minds curious.